Welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, I will show you that how you can import database in your PHP MyAdmin. So before doing that, you have to make sure that you have sufficient permissions for that. For example, right now, I am admin of this PHP MyAdmin. So I have all of the permissions that I need to create database from the PHP MyAdmin. If you don't have such permission, you might not be able to create. So just look at that if that's if you have those permissions, then just continue. So now let's begin. Just click on the import button and from here, click on the choose file to select the file from your local computer. Like this is the SQL file that I want to import. Just select that file and click on the import button. So for wait for some time, depending on the size of the database, once it is imported, you will see the success message on the top. Okay. As you can see that we have a successful message that these queries have been executed and import has been completed and you will notice a new database has been created and visible in this list. So just click on that and you will be able to see uh, that database that is just imported from the file and in this database you can see we have several tables that were imported to that file and you can see your data so this is how you can import data in your php my admin i hope that this video is useful for you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified for all of my upcoming videos and also please like and share this video thanks for watching see you next time